Hi, welcome to uh, video seven of uh, linear relations overarching themes. Um, we're going to be looking at partial and direct variation today. And this is going to uh, kind of help you um, identify which uh, linear relations would be considered partial variation and which ones would be considered direct variation. So first of all, we know that um, the, there's a relation between the x values and the y values. And the x values are the independent variables and the y values are the dependent variables. Or as the dependent variable, uh, y depends on the value of x in order for, um, to determine the values. So partial variation um, basically is saying that um, the, the value of y partially varies um, with uh, due to a constant value um, added to um, a multiple. Okay, so it's partially, it partially varies from the constant and partially varies from the multiple part. Okay, so there's two things to it. Um, we, we've considered this uh, in past videos, uh, the y-intercept. And this is the, uh, the variable term. Um, the y-intercept is a constant. Okay, so it's the graph crosses through uh, that value on the y-axis. Um, and then with every step um, or every unit uh, in the x direction, um, the y-value will be increasing by the value of the rate of change. And in this case, we're gonna be calling this the slope. Okay, so um, partial variation will have two parts to the, to the equation. We're gonna have a constant added to a multiple part. Okay, so that's one way to identify uh, partial variation. Um, we can also look at the graph and we see that the graph will not cross the x-axis at the origin, okay? It crosses um, anywhere besides the origin, okay? And I've got a, um, a, a graph with, you know, by plotting the actual, drawing the line through the, through the points. So this is the same plotted points here. Um, this one just starts at zero, zero, and we notice in the table of values that it starts uh, at zero and some value that's not zero. Um, so that's the, the ordered pair zero, five, which corresponds to the ordered pair zero, five here um, of the y-intercept. And notice that five is the y-intercept that we see in the equation. Um, and those are just the plotted points from this table of values. And then if we draw the equation of the line, we draw the line through those points um, by, by drawing the, or graphing the equation, we then see that the graph, of course, will just continue through those points through the y-intercept of zero five, and then it'll continue on in the, uh, in the negative uh, side of the y-axis and the negative side of the x-axis. Uh, so, so that's for in this particular example anyways. I mean, there's lots of different examples. The most important thing for you to take away from is that the, there will be two terms uh, in an equation that shows partial variation. The graph does not cross at the origin and in the table of values, we've got an ordered pair zero and something not zero. Okay, so that's partial variation. If we move over to direct variation, which is on this page, we'll see that the graph, or sorry, the, um, the graph, first of all, uh, does uh, cross at the origin, has in the table of values, it has um, zero, zero as the ordered pair. And um, the, we don't have the multiple part. So there's no, there's no constant added here. Okay, so we don't have the y-intercept. Uh, what we do have is just the multiple part. 
Okay, so we only have that multiple term, multiple, um, that is of course still considered the variable term. And it is dictated, of course, by uh, the slope of the line and the number of units um, that we move in the x direction or in of the independent variable. Um, number of units uh, will then determine what the final value of y will be because y depends on uh, the value of x. And henceforth, this multiple of the slope with that value of x. Okay. Um, and so then if we just draw the graph of y equals two-fifths x, we see that it does go through the origin and it continues down um, in both directions. So um, again, there can be other um, graphs, some with negative slopes, um, others with positive, some with whole number slopes, others with uh, fractions or decimals. But um, the big takeaway is that there will only be one term in the equation of direct variation. Uh, the graph passes through the origin and in the table of values, there will be a, uh, uh, an ordered pair of zero, zero. Okay, so that's a quick little wrap up of direct and partial variation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.